गुड मॉर्निंग माई डियर स्टूडेंट आई एम डॉक्टर किरण रामरा बोलकर नाउ टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द हाइड्रा सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई जस्ट टेल यू अबाउट द कंटेंट ऑफ द हाइड्रा इट इंक्लूड हैबिट एंड हैबिटेट शेप एंड साइज एंड लोकोमोशन ऑफ हाइड्रा एंड न्यूट्रिएशन वी सी वी विल सी ऑल दिस फोर कंटेंट ऑफ द hydra look at picture of hydra you can see here uh, mouth, uh the, this one is the hydra and these are the tentacles of hydra uh, this one is the mouth of hydra and uh, uh this is the testa testis then this one is the ovary and uh, this cavity is called as a gastrovascular cavity and this one is the bird and this is the foot or it is also called as a pedal disc okay so first of all we see here the habit and habitat of hydra this hydra is found in fresh water pond pool lakes stream and ditch it is usually remain attached to the submerged vegetation or with any solid subject this hydra is attached to the solid object okay then when it is undisturbed its body remain extended with tentacle spread out and shows expansion and contraction without any apparent reason this hydra is the carnivorous in habit and feed on small insect insect larvae and small crustacean okay so we can say here the hydra is the carnivorous animals okay it lives singly that is solitary in habit it is not a, uh, it is not found in the form of colony okay and it reproduces sexually as well as asexually okay this is all about the habit and habitat of the hydra now we see here the shape and size of the hydra hydra is a polypoid cylindric with a cylindrical body okay it is easily visible to naked eyes and when fully extended it becomes elongated and slender it means that we can see there is this hydra it measures from 2 to 20 mm in length and this variation in the length is due to its remarkable power of contraction and expansion okay it means that their body uh, their uh, their shape uh, is the cylindrical body okay now we see the uh, locomotion of hydra how this hydra move from one place to another how this hydra locomate locomote from the one place to another normally a hydra remains attached by the basal disc to some suitable object in the water okay hydra remain attached by the basal disc to some suitable object in the water okay there is a twist about and makes various moment of the tentacle and body in response to various stimuli and for the capture of food all such moment are caused by the contraction and expansion of contractile muscle fibers of muscle processes of both epidermis and gastro dermis it means that this movement occur with the help of the contractile muscle fiber okay so actually the locomotion is accomplished in several different ways which are as follow that is looping then somersaulting then gliding then cuttlefish like movement then floating and climbing and swimming these are the seven type of locomo locomotion uh, that occur in hydra so 
we see one by one here okay so first of all we see the first first type of the locomotion is that the looping so what is looping the most common a type of walking a type of walking similar to the looping of an inchworm or caterpillar look at here this look like a, a caterpillar moment okay so while standing erect the body is first extend look at here the body is first extend and then bent and fix the tentacle look at here this, uh, the, this uh, first of all this body bent and then fix what fix the tentacle uh, fixed to the substratum by means of the gluteal nematocyst okay uh, it then release the attachment of basal disc. Look at this. This basal disc re release. Okay. Release. And uh, uh, re uh, reattach the basal disc near the tentacle. Look at this. Yeah. Reattach to the basal disc to near the tentacles. And again assuming at upright position by release its tentacle. Look at this. By release is tentacle. So such a type of movement of hydra uh, is called as a looping. Okay. Now we see the another type of locomotion that found in hydra. That one is the somersaulting. What is somersaulting? Somersaulting is like a looping. Look at this. Is also uh, you can say here one type of the looping also. Okay. So in this type of moment. Hydra extended its body. Hydra extended its body and is bent to one side. Look at this one side to place the tentacle on substratum and the glute glutinant nematocyst help to fix the tentacle. The basal disc is free from its attachment. Look at this. Basal disc is free from its attachment and the animal stand on its tentacle. Look at this, this animal stand on its tentacle. The body then contracts strongly till it appears like a knob. Look at this, the body is look like a knob. And the body is then extended and bent to place a basal disc on the substratum. Look at this, then this basal disc uh, um, on the substratum. And the tentacle loosen their hold and the animal regain an upright position. These moments are repeated and repeated. And the hydra moves from one place to place. Okay, from place to place. So such a type of locomotion is called as a summer salting locomotions. Okay, and this is normal method of locomotion that are found in hydra. Now. Third type of locomotion that are found in hydra is that the gliding. What is gliding? Hydra gland glides slowly along its attachment by alternate contractions and expansion of basal disc. Okay. So the hydra can glide slowly along its attachment by alternate contraction and expansion of basal disc. Okay. Now, we see the another type of locomotion that are found in hydra is that the cuttlefish-like movement. Uh, what occur in this cuttlefish-like movement? The tentacle are fixed to the substratum and with the uh, and with the pedal disc up. Look at this, this pedal disc up, and hydra moves over the substratum by pulling its tentacle along. Look at this, by tentacle. Along, so such a type of locomotion is called as a cuttlefish like movement. Look at this. Okay, now we see the another uh, or fifth type of locomotion that are found in uh, hydra is that the floating. What is floating? Sometimes this hydra can produce a bubble of gas that's secreted by some ectodermal cell of basal disc which help the animal to float on the surface of water and is passively carried from one place to another by the water current or wind below. So such a type of 
moment or such type of locomotion is called as a floating okay now we see the uh, six type of locomotion is that the climbing okay so hydra can climb by attaching its tentacle by attach its tentacle to some distance object and then release the pedal disc and by contracting tentacles by the body is drawn up to a, a new position look at this to a new position so such type of locomotion of hydra is called as a climbing now we see the uh, seventh type of locomotion that are found in uh, hydra is that the swimming so what is swimming by freeing itself from the substratum and with the help of wave like moments of tentacle look at this wave uh, wave like moment of tentacles a hydra swim in water hydra swim in water this is all about the uh, locomotion of hydra now we see the nutrition in hydra what type of nutrition occur in hydra so first of all we see the food and its ingestion how they uh, intake food okay so the food consists of small crustacean like cyclop small annelids and insect larvae thus it is carnivorous why it is carnivorous because this hydra feed uh, like uh, hydra feed crustacean like cyclops small annelids and insect like larvae okay so on touching a tentacle by the prey look at this by the prey the stenotils penetrate it and inject a poison toxin to paralyze it the volvant coil around the bristle to hold the food and the tentacle holding capture animal contracts and bend over mouth and the other tentacle also bend and help to transfer food into the mouth where it is engulfed by movement of mouth and hypostome the pelistatic contractions of body wall force it into the enteron force into the enteron then hydra will normally swallow on leaving prey it has been shows that it will engulf only those animal which contain a chemical called glutathione and which is present in tissue fluid of most animal and it is released when the body is punctured by steno tills this shows that glutathione is necessary to evoke the feeding reaction okay look at this ha huh? uh, such type of, uh, of food is found in the hydra and such type of ingestions also occur in hydra then how this hydra takes the digestions how the digestion occur in a hydra the mucus gland of hypostome everybody knows that what is hypostome look at this this one is the hypostome okay so the uh, mucus gland of the hypostome cover the engulf food with mucus and then enzymatic gland cell produce a proteolytic enzyme then proteolytic enzyme what type that is uh, uh, like uh, trypsin trypsin is also the enzyme which partly digests the protein into polypeptide in an alkaline medium in the enteron what is enteron enteron is the cavity of that hydra and this digestion is extracellular this digestion is extracellular it means that out of their body but uh, some endodermal cell form pseudopodia and engulf the smaller partly digested particles into the food vacuoles and the content of food vacuoles are first acidic then they become alkaline and the remaining digestion is completed in the vacuoles and it is called as a intracellular digestion i think uh, you know that what is the difference between intracellular and uh, uh, intracellular and uh, extracellular digestion so 
thus hydra combines the intracellular digestions of protozoa and extracellular digestions of higher animal some endoderm cells after taking in food into food vacuoles separate from the body wall and wandered about in the enter on to the part where digested food is needed digested food is assimilated to endoderm cell and transfer to ectoderm or into the enteron from where it is distributed to all parts thus the enteron cavity serve a double function of digestion and circulation okay you can see here ki what is the function of enteron at that time you can say that ki uh, enteron has a uh, enteron or uh, cavity serve as a double functions of digestion and circulation okay so hydra can digest protein hydra can digest protein fat and some carbohydrate also but it does not digest starch but it does not digest starch some digested food forms oil globules which are stored in the ectoderms okay this is all about the digestion in hydra now we see ejection of di uh, hydra the undigestible material then what type of the undigested material like exoskeleton of the crustacean or ejected through the mouth on contractions of the body and the mouth thus function as a anus also you can say here mouth act as a mouth act as a Yeah, in what is that intake of uh, it serve as intake of food also and mouth uh, function uh, as a uh, anus also okay so this is all about the uh, nutrients of hydra okay thank you so much